Hey there! Okay, so yesterday I mentioned I was going to try to start recording earlier during the day so I'm not quite as mentally exhausted. And I am doing this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so look at me. <laughs> doing good. <laughs> um, and yesterday I was talking about being resourceful and asked for the community, my community, to send me some of their favorite ideas. And I do hope to get some. Um, but I actually last night um, had written on my um, daily intention list to go through and to figure out how many nights have I been away from my own bed in 2018. And in 2017, I know my figure was 58% of the year. I was not in my own bed. And there's probably actually some extra nights, like there's random nights here and there that I don't record on my calendar. Um, but... 2018 because I started doing the pet sitting starting in March um, through Rover. I um, have been gone a lot more, especially this summer with parents having their kids out of school and all of that stuff. So last night um, after I recorded my video, um, that's one of those projects that try to figure these dates out and how long I've been gone. That's kind of a brain dead project. I don't need to be my sharpest to figure it out. And so as of the end of October, I have not slept in my own bed 66% of this year. And there's actually some other nights um, that aren't recorded, maybe another 10 or 11 nights. Um, I would really have to spend a lot of time trying to piece those few together. Um, so we'll just go with the ones that I actually recorded on my calendar. So 66% of 2018, as of the end of October, has not been spent in my own bed, which means that I have been working somewhere else during the day, um, primarily on pet sitting gigs. So I really will have to say the past two years in particular, I have gotten incredibly resourceful and have really been trying to figure out how to pack lighter, how to figure out more of what I'll need for a specific area. It can be really tricky sometimes. Like for example, if you're trying to pack for two different climates um, because of travel, that part can be really tricky. And so I'm still looking to get better at that. But I feel really confident that when I get ready to go abroad, that I really, I've developed pretty decent routines and all of that um, in order to try to stay healthy and everything. So I definitely have a lot yet to learn. And still, again, would love any tips and ideas. I've really been geeking out on a lot of Digital Nomad podcasts um, lately. And almost every episode, there is some little nugget or resource that is making its way to my um, Nomad notes for my upcoming adventure. And so I will just say, like, I am really geeking out on all these like great things that people don't even necessarily realize maybe what they're sharing and how it's of value and also gratitude for myself and the aha light bulb moments that do go on when I hear some resource or something mentioned and thinking oh that's a really good idea so I just would love to hear from you some similar thing like what are you grateful for you know your own smarts your own you know, like aha moments, other tips, maybe ways you've traveled light, multi multi-purpose tools. There could even be multi-purpose clothes, anything like that. So seriously, would love to hear back from you on some of these things. Have a fantastic day. Bye.